G'day guys, Harry here from Mitz Alloy. Behind me is a 79 series dual cab with a 4495 at GVM upgrade and a J-Max Super Chassis coil conversion. Why don't we take a closer look at the train canopy we fitted to the vehicle. So this customer is actually one of the lucky ones. His 79 series has turned up. Between the COVID pandemic, all of the chip shortages and the supply chain issues, his vehicle has arrived and we've fitted our train canopy package to it. So this vehicle here is a shining example of how to set up a complete remote touring vehicle. So aside from the coil suspension, the biggest benefit of this conversion for on-road driving characteristics is the 300 mil chassis extension. Putting the 300 mil extension into your wheelbase on the 79 series means that you're gonna have better handling characteristics and it's going to better centralize, in this case, your canopy weight over your rear axle. So the overall length of the tray setup we've fitted to this 79 series is 2050 long. So that's including the headboard, gives you a 1985 bed space. Now you'll see here that it finishes just nicely, ever so slightly behind the end of the J-Max Super Chassis here. So you've still got really, really easy access for your tow ball. So another added benefit of putting 300 mil in the chassis is you not only get your standard pair of rear tapered under tray boxes behind the rear axle, we also are able to include these pair of front under tray boxes as well. Another standard inclusion on our trays is of course the flared mud guards. Now, if you do have uh, like larger offset or potentially running something like portal axles, we can of course do large guards to accommodate those. Also on the trays, standard inclusions is a 30 litre poly headboard water tank and the 1500 mil rear pull out under tray drawer. So all of our tray and canopy packages come standard with texture black powder coat. That ties in really well with a lot of the black and color themes you see on 79 series builds. So things like black rim and tires, protection, roof racks, bull bars, all that sort of stuff comes black. And then in scenarios like this one where we can match the sandy torp in powder coat, it's a nice touch and it completes the vehicle when you do your toolboxes and canopy doors in the vehicle color. So moving on to the canopy on this Land Cruiser, the size is 1700 mil long. So what that means is it's technically the full size we'd put on a standard dual cab, which in fact we don't recommend due to the rear overhang behind the axle. In this case, however, because we've added 300 mil, it lets your rear wall accessories like your jerry can, ladder and spare wheel sit essentially on top of the tray, therefore closer to the rear axle. So depending on how you're gonna use the vehicle, whether you're gonna be putting a rooftop tent on the top of the canopy, or potentially carrying a swag and maybe fitting a solar panel for your 12 volt system, we have a solution for both scenarios. In this case, the customer's opted for our 1700 mil canopy length roof rack. This roof rack has a low profile of 55 mil and has our own exclusive Unistrut profiled planks that go across for easy mounting. Into those planks, we've mounted three universal awning brackets. So moving inside the canopy, the customer's optioned in our P4 Explorer layout with a Clearview ES220 drop-down slide. Now in situations like this, when the canopy is quite high off the ground due to the conversion and the lift and tires, a drop-down fridge slide is a great way to access a large chest fridge. Next to that, we've got our slide-out single drawer and table combination, and around the other side, we've got a 900 mil drop shelf and our side-by-side -side drawer system. Another often overlooked benefit of going to a larger canopy on a 300 mil extended cruiser is having this space at the back of the canopy. Now, while it doesn't look like much, it's super handy for storing things like tables, chairs, any longer items straight down the back here, really accessible for camping and living out of the canopy. So to answer a really common question we get about setups like this, what do they weigh? Well, in this scenario here, given it's a 2050 tray, 1700 mil canopy, full internal fit out and the selected accessories on the exterior of the canopy, this setup comes in just under 600 kilos. So 590 kilos, but remember, you've still got to add a 12 volt system and a rooftop tent, finish off the rest of your accessories, put fuel in it, you know, pack the misses, the kids, go for a drive, and you've still done the GVM upgrade. So you're gonna have a few kilos left over, but it highlights the importance of doing things properly pre-rego. Now, if you've got a new 79 series on order and you're considering doing a 300 mil chassis extension and fitting a tray and canopy like you've seen in this video, Head over to our website, www.mitsalloy.com.au. You can submit a quote form or alternatively, give us a call and the team will be happy to help you out with pricing and quotations. Thanks guys.